bone conduction technology. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but I have it right here in my hands. The sounds you hear right now are actually tiny vibrations in the air. These vibrations travel to our eardrums and our eardrums decode it into a different type of vibrations that are then received by our inner ear. The inner ear is connected to our auditory nerve, which transmits these sounds to our brain. This is actually how the famous composer Beethoven was writing his symphonies when he went deaf at 32 years of age. He used a metal rod connected to his piano and then bit into it so he could feel the vibrations of the piano on his jawbone. He wrote his best work, the Ninth Symphony, using bone conduction. So these sunglasses transmit the vibrations on the bones in your head so you can hear the music. At first glance, they look like your regular sunglasses, giving off a little bit of a Ray-Bans vibe. Then you notice they're a little bit thicker on the sides, and that's where the brains of these musical sunglasses are. The matte, soft-touch frames look really nice, and they feel pretty stylish. Even on my small head, they don't look too overwhelmingly big. The logos on the sides light up when you turn them on and when you're charging them, but otherwise they are not lit up, so you don't look like a crazy person wearing blinking glasses. If we take a closer look, you will first notice the two bumps on the sides. These are the bone conduction speakers, enabling you to hear the sounds. There's also an on-off button, volume buttons and a microphone. The port for charging is at the end of the temples and use a special adapter that comes with glasses. The Zungle Viper are the second version of Zungle's musical sunglasses, crowdfunded on Kickstarter. Comparing to its predecessor, Viper has improved music quality and fit. So the idea behind these sunglasses is that they keep your ears free while you listen to music. So whenever you're doing sports or commuting, you can still hear what's happening around you while listening to your music. This way you can stay safe and entertained at the same time. You can also activate Siri or Google Assistant and answer calls, all enabled by the microphone in your glasses and a Bluetooth connection. Above all that, it's protecting you from harmful UV rays in a stylish way. What more could you ask for? Okay, now that we're done with the Kickstarter sales pitch, let's see how they actually perform in reality. The sensation of these musical sunglasses is really interesting because you hear the music first, and then environment second. That's really great when it comes to outdoor activities. You can make sure that by keeping your ears free, you will hear the oncoming cars or other potential dangers, and therefore you can enjoy your activity or commute in a much safer way. So according to my sunglasses purchases in general, I have a smaller than average and not the typically intended average user head size. While the speakers do touch my bones, they don't press on them enough to transfer the sound. Which means that all I hear are some of the high and mid tones, and it really sounds like an old phone speakers. There's also a lot of sound leakage, so the person sitting next to me can literally hear everything. I also have to have it on the absolute max loudness if I want to hear the music clearly. It's not gonna be loud, but you will definitely hear it. So these are all problems that arise from a bad fit. So I decided to call in somebody on the exact opposite side of the spectrum. Somebody with a big head. The fit here is perfect. He says that the sound quality is not perfect, but it's acceptable. We have to note that the way we hear sound waves that travel through air and the way we hear sound waves that travel through bones and nervous system are fundamentally different. So they will never sound the same. So he can listen to his music even at lower volumes and there will be much less sound leakage due to a tighter fit. My conclusion would be, if you have a bigger head, this might be an awesome gadget for you. But for all of us with smaller heads, they have assured me that they are also planning on creating models with better fit for females and Asians. When it comes to the sunglasses part, these are amazing. UV 400 polarized lenses feel really comfortable to wear and my eyes are super thankful to me in this harsh Montenegrin sun. A full charge that takes about an hour will last you for four hours of music playing, which is about the amount of time you wear your sunglasses per day if you're commuting to work. 
I know for myself that I will more often forget headphones at home than sunglasses. So to have headphones built into your sunglasses is a nice advantage if they would work for me. So let me stress this again. It all depends on your head size. Smaller heads, forget about it. It's not worth the money. If you have a bigger head, you're really gonna enjoy it. By the way, if you're looking for high quality and affordable photography backgrounds, these ones from Creative Gruden are just amazing. I have left the link in the description box down below. Thank you so much for returning to my channel. And if you're a new person, please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. See you soon, bye.